Now this aquarium has had a big bronze comet and a koi in it for a couple of years and they have appeared to be totally fine until just recently a water change has occurred and the gravel was disturbed during the water change. Now because this tank doesn't have very good surface agitation, the top is very still and there's not a heap of water flow in there, over time the sediment that builds up in the gravel and there's never been a gravel clean um, you can form what's called anoxic zones underneath the gravel particularly underneath that rock where the oxygen is not able to penetrate due to the sediment then that bacteria that grows in the anoxic zone will discharge what's called hydrogen sulfide so though everything was fine up until the water change when the um, gravel was disturbed during the water change the hydrogen sulfide has potentially been released into the water and actually killed the koi. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to add a Aqua L turbo filter. That's going to add some extra filtration and it's going to make sure there's very good surface agitation so we've got better gas exchange and much better water flow. We're also going to add some activated carbon because that's going to um, ensure that the hydrogen sulfide is sucked out of the water. We're also going to add some polyfilter because the polyfilter is also going to help suck any hydrogen sulfide out of the water to try and make sure that the fish that's in there is okay. Then we're going to add a teaspoon of aquarium detox. The aquarium detox is going to add bacteria from mud that will interrupt the anoxic zone and get rid of the hydrogen sulfide. So that'll take a month to work. After one month, we are going to do a water change with a gravel cleaner, and we're gonna suck everything out of the gravel. Then we're gonna make sure that in the future, at least in a semi-regular basis, maybe once a month or something like that, we're gonna make sure that a gravel clean water change occurs, and then we will not be in this situation again. So this is what's commonly referred to as old tank syndrome. So the ways to avoid old tank syndrome, good water flow, good filtration definitely helps, but ensuring that your gravel is not allowed to go stagnant and not allowing dead spots to occur and build up under your gravel is really the key to um, killing old tank syndrome. And if you are going to disturb your tank, which you think may be suffering from old tank syndrome, then you wanna add a chrome detox for a month before you go disturbing the gravel because even though you go and use a gravel cleaner and you um, suck all the garbage out of the aquarium which is a good thing but releasing all the hydrogen sulfide at one go may potentially kill your fish so it's rare but this is something that we do come across from time to time and it's very very easy to deal with once you know what you're doing